Hey folks, Nas here. Got another episode of Medieval Dynasty for you. Uh, in this episode, I'm going to be covering my opinion of some top locations to actually build your village or actually start building your village. So if you're new to the game or if you are coming back and building your second village or your third village or whatever, um, maybe these locations are going to help you decide where to build. But first off, um, for our first location, some of you may recognize this. This is my season one save location. So this is where I built uh, during our season one of uh, Medieval Dynasty. So back when the game first started and everything, I actually started building literally on the other side of the lake here, the river, and ended up not really liking the location. I, I picked a bad spot to start building because I didn't know anything about the game or any of the locations or anything like that. So hopefully this, uh, this video will help you in choosing a location. But for the reason I like this particular uh, location is because one, it's got a ton of trees. So you really don't have to go anywhere to chop down trees to get the wood for your buildings or wood for firewood for your villagers. Um, you know, so it's, it's really nice. And then you only need to cut down the trees that are in your way of building. That way you can actually incorporate some of the trees uh, like I did in my season one save uh, in your village. So I actually, you know, spruced up this entrance here off of the bridge and everything. And then of course the entrance to my village is roughly right here. And uh, I left the trees that I did not have to cut down. So if they weren't in the way of placing a building, I didn't cut them down. Um, now I'm currently uh, at recording this video. I am in the process of actually revamping, remodeling my village. Uh, but I'm still in the same location. I'm just moving buildings around and relaying out my village uh, because I started it and we didn't have horses at the time when I first started making this village. So my pathways weren't, uh, weren't actually roads and, and so on and so forth. Uh, but for this location, I'm sorry, it's getting dark and I'm going to sleep it a little bit. Um, it's great because you got a ton of trees. So trees are not an issue. Also, you're right next to the lake. Uh, you've got reeds down in here for you to collect for uh, your straw. There's actually reeds across the lake as well. And then, of course, there's some down by Gustovia. And I'll show you on the map where I'm at. I started out on this bridge right here, but I am in this area right here is where my season one location village is. Of course, you can see Gustovia is just right down the road. There's Borowu. If I uh, scroll out a little bit, you got Baranica and Branica right up there. You've got the mine, or excuse me, the cave that is right behind, uh, between Baranica and Branica that you can use for uh, mining iron. Of course, you're also not too far. Just leave it on the screen there. There's a cave here, I'll, right there with two bear. Uh, at that location. There's almost always two bear there until you build. Now I think once you build there, I don't know that the bears spawn again. I don't know if they fix that or not. Um, as far as hunting, there is boar that spawn behind this location. So I haven't built far, quite far enough back to aggro the, uh, the boar and I've gone pretty deep uh, into for my village and everything. Uh, farming. So if you wanted to farm, there, there's a whole flat area back over here that has almost no trees. So as far as farming goes, you could sprawl out a ton of farms if you wanted to, and there's a minimal amount of trees. Matter of fact, I will show you what I'm talking about real quick. If I can head just down the road just a little bit. So you can see the trees are thinning out quite a bit. So you wouldn't have to remove a whole lot of trees to go farming in this location here. Now my village actually is just past those few little trees right there. Um, and then I've actually removed some of the trees back in that area for crops uh, for my save. But there's a ton of area over here for farming. If you want, if that's what you wanted to do was do a ton of farming. Um, 
course, you're nearby the water. You can place your fishing hut on the water. You're close to uh, villages for vendors. Um, again, Gustovia, Borowu, Bar Baranica, Branica. You're very close. Denica is not too far either. So you're very centrally located on the map. As a matter of fact, you're almost dead center on the map. So if I can get everything in the picture just barely okay so there's Jezrika there you've got uh, Branica there so you can actually see all of the villages except the little unstuck village which is just off the map there but you can see all of the villages so center of map is technically here <laughs> so we're we're almost dead center in the map uh, so you're very close to uh, you know some of the major uh, villages and stuff that you're gonna need to, to do questing and stuff at but anyway, that is where we're starting for this. Now, these um, villages that I'm going to be listing are in no particular order. Um, these are just some of my top locations that I'm picking uh, as my opinion. Great places to, to start building your village in Medieval Dynasty. So let's move on to the next location. Okay, folks, for our next location, we're actually just kind of across the lake so where I was just at was just over there across the lake I'll show you on the map that's where I started out and this is where the second location is now this area here is where I originally tried to build in my season one and I did not really care for it a whole lot however there are some areas of this that can be built on and it could be done very nicely uh, however, I've jumped just across the creek for our next location, which our next location is this area right in here. And I'm going to go over why I think this is a great starting location for the beginning player. Uh, first off, you've got water nearby because water is going to be a big deal. You don't want to die of thirst. You've got the lake nearby. Once you get to the fishing hut, you can actually place the, the fishing hut on the water very easily. You've got this natural roadway that would could potentially cut right through the middle of your village. You've got a crashed cart, which I have a video listing all of the crashed carts in the game, uh, currently in the game. Now, granted, they may add some later on. I don't know. But I've got a video, and I'll put it up on the on the top right of the screen for you if you wanted to go see that, see all the different locations. But it gives you a couple of little planks. Uh, but you can incorporate this little cart into your, your village. Now, this road is not naturally here. I placed this road, so like you were coming down the road, and I was like, oh, here's my village, or here's a village, or whatever. But you can, you know, run your little pathways right through the village. I've done a couple of offshoots to kind of show you how much space you've really got. You've got quite a bit of space here that you can build in. Let me get my hammer out real quick. Whoops, wrong button. That never happens. Uh, and you can actually, there's, there's quite a bit of building out here. It's nice and flat. The only thing I'm running into are trees at this point. Uh, there's even a stone right here. I can place right on top of that stone. That stone does not bother me because it's not a stone or rock deposit. Now, if there are rock deposits, which are on the other side of this creek. Is that a rock deposit? Yeah. So like this rock deposit, you would not be able to build on that. It'll, it'll show up as there's an obstacle in the way. So I ran into some of that on the other side over there along the road. That's why I ended up moving across the lake. But you could really work out a really nice village, even if you didn't go across the creek. There's a ton of space over here. Uh, so you've got access to the, like the rock deposits. There are clay deposits over here, which you're going to want for daub. Uh, so to actually insulate the homes a lot better. Matter of fact, we're heading towards a deposit right now, and it's a large, large area. There's a large cluster here, so I want to say there's like eight or ten deposits. So there's two right there, there's two over there, there's one right there. Uh, let's see, there's one there. Looks like there's two, three, four, five back there. So there's quite a few. 
Uh, I don't know if you saw in the video or not, just a second ago there was a boar. So there's boar right there. So you actually have boar that spawn over here. Now boar are an aggressive animal, but I think for the starting player they're actually easy to hunt and they give you a decent amount of meat. Um, if you go a little bit farther past the boar, there's going to be wisent, fox, rabbit, deer, and wolf. I mean, you, you've got them all uh, in this area. So you've got access to quite a bit of meat for hunting, uh, especially early game. You've got a lot of flat area for building. Um, if you want to do crops, then I would, I would put crops on the other side of the, the creek. Uh, there's there's lots of space over there and crops work well you can place the crops with no real big issue when I first was building over there I actually put crops clear down here to the the creek bed uh, so you can crops work well over there building not so much on the other side of the creek now somebody may have built over there and found it works great for them it didn't work great for me and they, again that's what these locations I'm doing um, presenting to you guys these not all of these locations are going to be the best locations i don't want to necessarily <laughs> think that these are the you know beat all locations to build i just i think each location i'm going to be showing you in this video today are unique to different types of players so for the starter player i think this is a really good location to start excuse me i think <laughs> I think for the starter player, the beginner player, that this is a really good location to start building your village. Uh, it gives you a nice bit of room, flat area. It makes it easy to build and lay it out. Uh, same with the first location I showed you, my season one. Uh, it's a nice big location. There's just not as many trees over here. So you've got the, these you know, small birch trees right here. Uh, which only give you a couple of logs as to where the location on the other side of the lake where I, my season one is, those are all maple, which gives you four logs. Uh, now, if you pull up the stump, it'll give you an extra log, but you don't necessarily have to pull up the stump unless that tree is in the location you want to put a building. Uh, but anyway, uh, there is also, like I'd mentioned earlier, there's the cave. You've got two... Uh, uh, vendors. So each Bar Branica and Baranica each have a vendor there. There is also a vendor at the unstuck location right there. So you potentially have three vendors right here very close that you can go and sell your items to to make coin uh, in a pinch, you know, very quickly without traveling too far around the map. Um, of course, you've got water for a fishing hut or just water to drink, like I'd mentioned earlier. The clay deposit, the stone deposit, you've got the cave for iron. You've got pretty much everything you need relatively close to this location. So I think that's why I chose this location as a very, uh, a very good starter location. Alrighty, let's move on to the next location. Alrighty, for our next location, uh, this is going to be more for somebody who wants to be challenged a little bit in how they build and where they build. But this location here is actually just above the new cave that they added into the game um, with the stream running through it and you could actually incorporate that into your village. Now, before I show you where that is, I, I wanted to come up over here on this little plateau. Obviously, you can't build up here because it's just too rocky and too mountainous. But you've got this little plateau area down here, so your village can be very sprawly. Um, and you've got different levels that you can build on. So this is kind of a two-fold building area because you can actually come and build back over in here and then there's another plateau area down below to where you can actually build and do farming. Uh, you also have this natural roadway right here and then there's another road that runs up along this side of the, the other side of those trees. Uh, you've got some relatively build, buildable area over across the road. Uh, you've got some areas down over here, so you could have little clusters of houses and buildings all scattered across this area all around from what you can see. 
and I'll show you on the map where I'm at. So right here. So we're literally right between, literally in the middle of Hornica and Gustovia. Now, granted, I, this is more of a challenging location for somebody who wants a challenge as far as building and stuff. You can see there's no real good location for fishing huts or anything like that. So you're going to have to rely more on farming and hunting, which you can do. Uh, hunting should be relatively easy, but it could be a challenge. Now, just up uh, that direction over there is uh, Wysant and wolf and deer. Uh, you've got rabbits on the other side of this hill here. You've got boar and wolf that will spawn down below here. Uh, so hunting shouldn't be too big of an issue. You just have to travel. Now, as you can see, trees are going to be probably your biggest issue and straw early in the game because there is no straw to be had anywhere near here you have to travel out to gustovia because there's going to be straw or reeds i should say here there's also going to be some reeds along here and i believe along here uh, so that let me show you here it's a little easier here here and here are going to be where you're going to be traveling to get reeds. I don't believe there's any reeds around this. Matter of fact, I know there's no reeds around this little area here. Uh, so for your early game building, straw is going to be what you're going to need and you're just going to have to travel for that. Again, giving challenge to this area. Now the cave I was talking about, if we walk right down the hill here and turn to the right, there's your cave. With the, with the stream running through it and everything. So you can actually incorporate that little cave into your village uh, because you can, you know, build in this little area over here. You could have little clusters, like I'd mentioned, all around. So this is going to be more for the player who wants a challenge. They don't want the easy way out, so to say. I think once it's built up, it's going to be uh, a very unique village um, because you're going to have all these different levels of uh, buildings on these different plateaus and areas. But anyway, that is my three locations for this video. So you got a couple of great starter locations and then of course a more challenging location. Uh, as far as um, mining or anything like that, you do have the mine with the two bear right here. And then there's also another mine over this direction here. So you do have access to iron, but they're not necessarily easy to get to. Because uh, getting to this one over here, you, you got to travel through uh, the wolf and the wisent to get to it. So it can, again, add that more, much more challenge to your Medieval Dynasty uh, gameplay. But anyway. Uh, if you folks have found this informative or helpful in any way, definitely hit that like button. I'd greatly appreciate it, and it helps put this video out in front of other people just like yourself that are going to like it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. It also helps the channel out. We also have our Discord server that we would love to see you join the community. The link is in the description below. And if you folks have built in any of the locations that I've listed, uh, and you want to leave your comments below on whether you liked the location or didn't like the location or what about it you didn't like or did like uh, the most, I would love to see those comments uh, below as well. But anyway, you folks take care and happy hunting.